If you intend to catch 10 kilo sea trout, there are some things you definitely need to consider. Most important of all, fish in a river that holds big sea trout. If you're in Sweden, then the Mörren River is the perfect choice. Here, sea trout weighing around 10 kilos are caught almost every year. And use the right fishing gear for the river. A double-handed fly rod is preferred, even though you can use a single-handed rod as long as you don't go down in tippet size. In my opinion, you should use a monofilament tippet of at least 0.4 mm. Forget floor carbon, it sucks. In autumn, when we are fishing the Mörren River, both Martin and I exclusively use the golden eye. I created this fly 6-7 years ago and it has proven to work fantastically well for both salmon and sea trout. But it's of course a free choice. Use the fly you believe in. Experience and luck are also good to have. You need a bit of both of course. But it seems to me that the more experience you have, the luckier you get. <laughs> this is my eldest son Martin fishing the streams in the Mörren River on the last day of the season. Oops, we lost one there. Well, you can't win them all. Maybe next time. This is the same spot the day before. I love fishing the streams. Oh. This section differs a lot compared to the rest of the southern stretch. Mm -hmm. Faster, more turbulent water, lots of bowls and other obstacles to deal with. You never get bored fishing here. It's rather shallow, so bigger fish never stops long. Therefore, the normal catch at the streams is a smaller salmon or sea trout. Yes, that's what I call a take. The water is literally boiling. I think it's important to immediately put pressure on the fish. If I ignore to do so, not much will actually happen. The fish will stay relatively calm resting in the stream and I will not be able to land it. So, I keep the pressure up as much as possible. If the hook loses, then it will probably have done so anyhow. Every time I hook a fish in a stream, I have a tendency to try to reach a good landing spot very quickly. It works, but maybe I should focus more the first minutes of the fight to get a control of the fish instead. After all, there is no immediate hurry. It always takes a while to save the land the salmon or sea trout. This time I headed for the boulder downstream when I know I'll be able to land the fish if we get so far. Getting the upper hand is easier said than done, especially in the early part of the fight when the fish still has a lot of power. But every time I get a chance, I reel in as much line as possible. Further down, there are boulders and trees in the water and the current is even stronger. I really don't want the fish to get there. The fish stays in the current, using it to its advantage. Normally when I start on a stretch that I know will take some time to fish, I change battery in my GoPro. This time, however, I have forgotten to do so and, suddenly, the battery ran out. Luckily, I had a second camera running. The downside was that this camera shoots pictures with higher frame rates, but with lower resolution. The idea was to film a way some slow motion sequences when the fish jumps, but so far it hasn't worked out as well as I wanted. Now I was glad I had it, although I immediately started thinking about how I could change the battery in the main camera. But it had to wait, first I must keep up fighting the fish. I saw my chance, now unscrewed the camera from the mount and laid it on the boulder. Ok, little shaky maybe, but at least I still managed to change battery. 
And then, I finally was able to put the camera back on the mount. It was a little extra drama with the battery change, and it felt good to have fixed it. I was, so to speak, back in business again. The fight continued. The fish is still out of reach in the flowing water, even though I pushed the rod to the breaking point. It's a battle of wills. No wants to give up, but it can't last forever. Eventually, either the fish has to tire or the hook will come off. But then, after struggling hard with the fish for several minutes, it seems that it's giving in. Slowly, slowly, I'm beginning to gain some line. Meanwhile, Martin happened to see that I was fighting a big fish, so he came to help me. Normally, we fish the same stretch in the river, but we go in different directions to search for the relatively unfished water. Not the easiest thing in Murrum in late September, but at least we don't fish directly behind anyone else. We really don't see any point in doing that. The advantage, I believe, is that we catch more fish this way. The downside is that we seldom are able to rejoice in each other's catches. So, this was kind of a rare occasion. Father and son together, and a big fish on the hook. Come on. Ja, det, det ser ut som det, men jag tror inte att, jag tror att det måste vara en hybrid. Ja. Ja, vi får ta och titta på den. Hoppas jag. Martin thinks it's a sea trout, but I'm not sure. The fish is so big that it might as well be a hybrid. We need to take a closer look to be sure. Jag tänker jag tar in den i läbestenen här så borde den här gå. As Martin is going to tail it, he wants to know where I'm intent to land the fish. I tell him that behind the bowl he should do fine. Ja, det är bara dumt. Ingen brådska med det här. It looks good. The fish is tired and we are ready to land it. I tell Martin to take it easy. There's no hurry. Still, this is the moment of truth. The moment when everything is put to a test. The fish appear to be well hooked, so there shouldn't really be any problem. But, you never know. We are still discussing whether it's a sea trout or not. Martin is made to fish the way 10 kilo ish. Martin asked me again if I really want to land it at the boulder instead of the river bank. But I have no problem landing it at the boulder. I've done so on several occasions before. And finally, the fish is done. Martin did a great job here. He's calm and knows what to do. It's very easy to get overexcited. It's a sea trout for sure, and it's a monster. This fish is in excellent condition, and as it's a female sea trout, also chock full of rope. Whoa! Martin says that it weighs a lot. I don't doubt it for a second. I am glad that my friends are here to hold me, so there is no problem. As Martin is already wet after landing a sea trout by himself an hour earlier, he doesn't mind dipping the sleeves in the water one more time. I'm saving the fly, my own creation, the golden eye, before I unhook the fish. Will you hold it? And, as I said before, this is a rare moment. A big fish and a witness. Normally, I had unhooked the fish and then released it as soon as possible. But now, it's time for a quick photo session to really document this amazing catch. When Martin sees the fish from another angle, he exclaims something like, Holy moly! No wonder, it's an exceptional oh, fish for sure. 
Martin wants me to lift the fish higher so he can get a better picture, but I just couldn't do it. This fish was simply too heavy for me to lift safely. There's no doubt. This monster sea trap weighs easy over 10 kilo. I ordered. So come on, Tom. Fan, vilken fisk! Ja. Brutal baby. Satan alltså! Alltså den är ju här. Ja, nytter den. Ja du. Ja, vad tror du? <laughs> Just checked the lengths before I let the sea trout swim back wow. out in the river again. Hopefully on the way to successful spawning. Wow, how cool was that? I'm so happy I was able to share this amazing catch with Martin. <laughs>